What's up programmers? Today we're going to take a look at the two standard Unix output streams and how to deal with them inside of our program and the command line. So let's get started. So there are two main output streams that we have to deal with. One is standard out and one is standard error. Standard out is typically used for normal output from your application, while standard error on the other hand is used to capture any error information related to your data processing. There are times when it makes sense to just capture standard out, there are times when it makes sense to just capture standard error, and there are times when it makes sense to capture both. So what we need to do to get started is to separate our output into the two separate streams. By itself, printf is automatically going to send the data to standard out. So what we want to do is capture any error information and send it to the separate standard error stream. So let's add a little bit of code to do that. In this case, we're going to add something to generate a warning if a name passed to our greeting application is too short. So let's add that really quick. So what we're going to do is if the name passed is less than three characters, we'll consider that to be an invalid name, and then we'll generate a warning. So what we're going to do is we're going to use file print. So we'll use fprintf. There are two standard file handles that exist for output. One is standard out, and the other is standard error. As we said before, standard out is automatically going to be handled by printf. So what we're going to do is use fprintf, and then we're going to output to standard error. And we're going to generate an error message. In this case, it will be a warning. So now we're going to continue with normal processing, but we're going to generate a warning if the name passed in is shorter than three characters. File that really quick. Oops. I got to do one thing. Let's add our name on here. Okay, now. So if we give it a normal name. If we say the name is too short, there we go. So now our output consists of two separate things. We have the actual greeting, and then we have the warning that's saying that the name is too short. So now let's take a look at how we handle the redirection of those. First of all, let's take a normal output and then send it to a file. So now if we take a look inside of temp, we see there's our normal greeting. Okay, now, using that same logic, but let's make it the name that's too short. Now we can see that the name is too short. The warning came to the screen, but the actual output went to our file, which is the ideal situation, so that our error message doesn't affect our output. So now let's say we want to capture the error output. So now we can do the same thing. But what we'll do is we'll use the number two, which is the file handle for standard error. And now you can see the normal output went to the screen. But if we take a look in our log file, now our log file contains the error message. So now we've, we've demonstrated that we can capture the streams independently and send them either to the screen or to a file. We can also separate it out so we can separate the output into two separate files. So now if we take a look at error, that contains our warning, and then and success contains our successful output. So now we've completely separated the streams. Okay, so the last thing we want to do is capture the output of both streams and concatenate them into the same file. So let's take a look at how to do that.
So what we did there is we took the output of standard error and then we concatenated it onto standard out. So now when we redirect to the file, we get both streams combined into the same file. Just to sum up, what we've covered is standard out and standard error, writing to two separate streams from the program, and then being able to redirect all those streams independently to log files or concatenate them together and capture them in the same log file. In the next episode, we're going to take a look at piping and how to have our application read from streams. Until next time, happy programming. Mm -hmm.